Here as you can see this is the dashboard for uh, Nissan Tita. This uh, vehicle I just opened and this uh, dashboard as you can see just I put it uh, on the bed which is laying over here and these are the other parts of the dashboard of course a uh, lot lot of parts had been removed from this car this is normally is the case with the new cars there are so many parts to, re to be removed just I'm going to show you the scope of work what is going on and here are some trim pieces uh, actually conditioner ducting and uh, this one and here is also the instrumentation cluster cluster is over here actually this is the trim part for the cluster and uh, now I'm going to show you on the car on the car just you can see over here all these components like, all parts have been removed from and the steering is laying underneath downside the fuse box and here is of course a few parts just I will show you where the cluster where the air conditioner operator is yes this is what is the something to show uh, here is the air operator just you can see the condition of the air operator which had been removed from the car uh, here is the leak actually you can see this is leaked and oil is there just over here in this part and so much dirty you can see this is uh, what the air is blowing so dirt is there dust is there mud is there that is accumulated on this part and uh, here are a few parts just you can see this is the rear part of the gear uh, gear stick it is over here you can see uh, just it had been removed also because uh, without that you cannot remove the dashboard uh, location of the air operator just I'm going to show you where it is located so it is over here uh, just you can see this uh, here is the location for the air operator this uh, this is the filter and over here in this uh, inside and this is this is the piping actually the hoses uh, not hoses but these are the pipes for air conditioners so they are going towards the firewall and they're cross crossing the firewall and then to the other system compressor and condenser and here is the operator inside this is what we I replaced it and now I'm going to fix it everything back but uh, in this video I will not show you everything every detail because uh, this detail is uh, uh, beyond uh, the reach of the recording or whatever uh, the reach of this video the purpose of uh, showing this is just to show you the scope of the work if you are working on a TEDA air conditioner or any other car similar like that uh, so you will have understanding how much work is involved while you are going to do it uh, here is another thing just I'm going to show you uh, where the parts are I mean how to access the rest here are the two air condition uh, the ho heater hoses you have to remove those while you are removing these are also crossing the firewall and in the same uh, underneath I mean to say where the heater core is in the environment curl cluster it will go and here are the air conditioner this underneath this uh, mat you can see are this covering here are the pipes which are going to the air conditioner here of course these are the lines these are the lines which are going to the air conditioner and here is the unit uh, the uh, refrigerant control or expansion valve which is located over here from here you will remove that and then the unit will go off otherwise it could not be and uh, maybe I will show you in this video how to fill the refrigerant in this car and how to fill the air conditioner uh, by these uh, ports just uh, that I will capture I will try to capture on the camera uh, and then later on I will show you but uh, the rest of the procedure of the fixation inside I will not show because that's a very tedious and uh, difficult procedure uh, I cannot record that here are a few parts from the dashboard as you can see this is actually one part but all are broken you can see this was just came in chunks outside the car the reason behind this is actually they are this is the top and this is the inner uh, the reason behind the breaking of this part is 
uh, is this plastic with the um, sunshine and uh, with a very hot sun they become very fragile and uh, then they are breaking as this car is not new this is something uh, 2006 or 2007 so what we are doing uh, in such a case as you can see such uh, parts this has come off in parts uh, the proper way is you have to discard this all and go to purchase a new one but this is mm, not always a feasible case the feasible way is we have to repair it and uh, as my habit you know you people that's why you people are here on my channel uh, this is what is uh, my happiness uh, I'm reusing things I'm not throwing them away instead as the people are throwing so I'm collecting it sometimes and uh, I'm bringing them back to life this is what is for the video sake also and uh, here this is what is a need on this particular car so as you can see this had been come off and the other reason uh, for the breaking of this as uh, I told you one reason the second reason is of course um, as uh, people while well, they are bringing these parts off of the car they have no experience with the uh, such cars so then they are breaking them and uh, they are breaking it very easily uh, what we are going to do is now we are going to repair these parts uh, so what we will do is we are first repairing this crack just I'm going to show you uh, some people are telling that uh, I have to use uh, glue which is in my hand as you can see this is something vital fix super glue any super glue will do uh, but the problem with these glues is uh, while you are fixing it it is going on a very very much uh, narrow area of the material which is of course this uh, uh, dashboard material so such narrow area it will work and it will not be a perfect joint with a very little force it will become break once again uh, so this is uh, what we are going to avoid and for this purpose I'm going to use my soldering iron as uh, in the one video I did it and somebody commented that why not to use the glue so the purpose of this uh, using soldering iron and uh, something like uh, a saving process what I'm doing is only to avoid such breaking in future so for the use you have to have the soldering iron hot and of course it is hot now with me and some soldering uh, the some uh, copper wire as in my hand this is a regular winding wire and insulation I just removed it from uh, just a bare copper wire and just uh, you have to make hooks on both ends and just look at the cracked area where it will go something like this so a small hook will do over here so by this way if I will cut it over here and make a hook again on the other end also now this uh, you see you watch on my other video also which I have loaded sometimes for uh, some plastic repair work uh, here again I am doing it showing it to you so first uh, this crack parts part which is not uh, which is still intacted which is not a part uh, this is just I'm going to fix it firmly so by this way on the reverse side this is the top side the front side or the top side is underneath and uh, top is now the under cover or the under part so this is what I'm just going to use my soldering iron to heat this up so by the way I will make it perfect so that it will be perfectly joint there should be no gap nothing otherwise it will be seen which is something not good so one first I have to solder it or melt it to one part and then to the next part but I have to force it as it was not correct something like that so by this way I have to put this hook in and just do my work with my soldering wire, soldering iron to make it perfect as perfect as I can but I will take care not to break down the part because this should not come out on the other on the other side just I'm going to show you because the other side will come on the top on the vehicle so it should not be visible over here as you can see the crack is visible but with a little force I can make it perfect some way like that 
here. So later on I will put some glue also uh, which will make it perfect. Yeah, it's visible over here also, but it is okay, it will do. It is better than broken one. Okay, so the next step is we have to match the parts where it had been come from. So we will match the parts and then do our work doing some way. Uh, the bigger part I have to grab in my hand and then fix some other part with this. So it will not go like that. Instead, I think this one is a perfect matching over here. So these two parts we will combine together. These are perfectly broken parts as you can see. So these are what we are going to combine them. So for this purpose we will use more than one hook because this area is bigger. Three, four or five hooks maybe we will need. So I am going to make another hook. Some way like this. This is something like a stapler pin, you can say. But the regular stapler pin will not do over here because they are very very much thin. And something thin like that will not give a perfect force which we need it over here. So I am giving one more force with my hands. So I will avoid that. Just enough force I should have to use. To grab the parts together some way like that and then of course the same procedure I will repeat over here as this car was uh, from one of my very owner friend or very respected friend you can say so that's why I'm doing it for him otherwise this is not normally the case we are going to replace parts in such a situation but uh, of course part changing is not something very favorable because it needs a lot lot of money if we can repair them it is something good as they could not come to uh, perfection but maybe it will do it will do its purpose for for which we are going to repair them Everything is very very much fragile, it's going to break, but it's not a problem. I will fix fix it again and again, it's not a problem. And from the other side, if I will look at, it's a little bit visible, but it's okay. Maybe it will come to something good shape, like this. Just I will do it and will show it on the camera to you later on, while I will fix everything. After doing maintenance on this part, as you can see, everything I just uh, put together and uh, if you will see these marks, this is just fresh uh, super glue, which uh, you can see from here, I just did not put it and here I put it and the old marks, you can see this, this was the old uh, super glue, which somebody put it and uh, they uh, just uh, leave very bad, uh, they just left very bad signs, which you can see here. And uh, here is what is my repair, you can see just uh, barely, you can see on camera and if it, this part will be fixed from a very little distance it will not be shown. And here also you can see this was an old repair, just I refresh the glue, here also the same thing. And uh, next just I will have to show you where I repaired, uh, just over here, you can see this big mark I repaired and uh, this is not visible over here only little is visible and next is just where I have to show you where my repair is over here you can see this line and here also little bit is visible over here and this is also my repair the next is of course this one is my repair here and uh, here is also my repair this one 
so this was a huge work I just performed from the beneath I have to show you um, just uh, so many marks you can see where I made soldering on the plastic soldering you can say just I made it and here these screws you can see uh, just they are housing I'm repaired because these were broken and here also one screw is so this housing I repaired it was broken now the part intact it you can see and it's fixed almost fixed now it's ready to go in the car and of course I will put it in the car and this will serve for some time mm, I hope you enjoyed this video and uh, if really you enjoyed it please thumbs up um, share with your friends and like the video uh, subscribe also thank you for watching